Upon startup, the operator needs to hit the continuous flow switch to make it active. Release the parking brake. Raise the tool up off the ground a little bit and you can go ahead and run continuous flow by moving the A switch up. As the machine goes in after three seconds, it's locked in. I'm going to move on into the ground to work. Some of the features of the HM112 machine is the fact that it has standard door as well as pressure cage and a heavy duty push arm. Caterpillar recommends cutting trees 8 inches or less and leaving the torque tube of the machine in a position so that once the tree is cut, none of the tree portion will be coming back at the operator. So you want to have a low stump. Opening the door is done with the left control button on the left implement on the top button to open the door. Whenever you're operating the tree, to cut the tree down, whenever you're operating, always keep in mind, always keep in mind that you can throw material up to 100 meters away, forward and, and reverse in operation. I am currently removing the stump that I had cut down when I left the tree open. Operating with the door open is when you take down all your vegetation. Closing the door with the bottom button on the left controller allows the operator to re-grind the vegetation up into small particles for quick de decomposing. The pressure gauge that is located on the back of the attachment allows the operator visibility, good visibility to see the pressure as it rises into the green. He knows he's in a safe operating range. Going into the red of the gauge indicates to the operator that he is becoming close to a stall. The purpose of the door is to reduce the vegetation to smaller particles to the satisfaction of the customer. You can operate with the door open continually. It will leave larger pieces of material on the ground. When making hunting trails or right-of-way areas, by shutting the door and reducing the material into a fine mulch, it allows for later use for, for walkways, driving four-wheel machines across it, as well as mowing when the vegetation starts coming back. Now that the tree has been removed, I will shut the door back over the area and reduce the ground coverage to a small mulch. Once you are finished with the machine and you want to shut it down, first idle the machine down. Once it goes down to a low idle, pull the roller switch down to shut the continuous flow off. And then pull up to a safe area. And at that point, let the machine idle for a few minutes to let all the temperatures go back to a normal temp or normal ambient temperature letting the cooling system cool down the oil.